not fair to Muscle Square. The site, known for tourist attraction, has become the rebels' infestation. The rebels have seized control of Addis Ababa. Even Gitacho Reda started drinking only three liters of vodka on a daily basis. What a bloody Jesper. The situation is so chaotic in the diplomatic city of Africa. Even the local residents of Addis are evacuating to Somalia. Sadly, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia and the President of Eritrea have lost the war and they have fled to Zimbabwe, the capital of Harare. To stay with Mengistu Haile Mariam, the firstborn of Haile Mariam de Sale. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. So the question remains, who is really qualified to govern Ethiopia and Eritrea? The people of Ethiopia and Eritrea by now realize they have two options. Option A, the United States of America, and option B, North America, and option C, all of the above. Hashtag no more China and Russia. Oh dear, I've said too much. That sounded better in my head. My apologies. It's just that I'm allergic to the smell of toxic explosives from war. It makes me high. CNN propagating lies and information to attack and weaken the next nation. Stay tuned and get screwed.